Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Kristen and in today's video I'm sharing with you some new products um, that I'm excited to try out and I thought I'd just shoot a video and kind of apply these products as I go along. So today we're talking about Magic Minerals Airbrush Foundation by Jerome Alexander and this is something that I had gotten an email on and was curious about because it's an ultra light spray mineral foundation that you basically it's like a spray foundation that you spray onto a brush and there's also a primer and then it also came with this concealer plus skincare um, it's basically a concealer and it also has a coverage roller ball that has hyaluronic acid argar argerline matrixyl algae and shea butter so i thought that'd be fun to try out i'm trying this out so it's basically an anti-aging under eye concealer and skin treatment all in one. So the center core of the concealer contains a proprietary blend of clinical level skincare ingredients surrounded by a rich moisturizing formula that easily glides on. Plus you get the bonus coverage roller ball that contains the same unique proprietary blend of clinical level anti-aging active ingredients as the under eye conceal but with no tint. So I'm going to try both of those products and this is even one of those products that would be really neat in the fridge because it's one of those roller balls and it would feel nice once it's cooled down. So I'm going to first start by moisturizing my face. I'm going to use my Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream. This has a really nice thick consistency and it provides a lot of moisturization to the face. Basically you just press down this cap and the the moisture comes out of that top cap. This is a very expensive line that you can purchase at Sephora but I definitely like their moisturizers, their eye creams, their oils are really nice and they don't tend to break out my sensitive skin. So that's definitely a plus with that. So I'm going to go in next with the roller eyeball. Or the roller, not roller eyeball, but roller ball that came with this kit. I'm going to use that next. And then I probably will also add an eye cream just because I can use all the moisture. So basically this is what it looks like and you just unscrew it and then it has the standard roller ball on it. I'm just going to put some underneath the eyes. Ooh, that feels really cooling. I love these kind of roller balls because they feel really cooling going onto the skin. I'm trying to see, I think there's product coming out. Yeah, there's product coming out. It just feels really cooling. Which is a plus to something like this. There we go. I, was, I didn't think, it felt cooling so I couldn't tell if there was product, but I don't think it was. Now I had to get it started on my hand. So I'm just going to let that sink in and I am going to add some more eye cream. I think I'm going to have to try that in my little fridge because that just feels so good. And then I'm going to add a new eye cream today. So I've got this new eye cream. And it's by L'Oreal. This is the L'Oreal Paris Age Perfect Rosy Tone Eye Brightener. And I think I saw this on Ulta. So it visibly color corrects dark circles and it's Imperial Peony for mature, dull skin. It's dermatologist tested, paraben free, mineral oil free, non sticky, fragrance free. The Rosy Tone Eye Brightener has a unique whip texture to instantly blur and help visibly color correct dark circles. This formula with Imperial Peony reduces the look of dark circles, visibly brightens skin around the eye area, and it's an overall healthier look, healthier, younger looking complexion. So immediately the eye area looks smoother, brighter, and more awake. The dark circles appear diminished, and in four weeks, eyes appear younger, revitalized. Overall skin tone looks healthier, and the eye area looks blurred. So I, I think I saw this on the Ulta website on, under the new arrivals, and I decided to pick it up and try it out because... Y'all know how much I love an eye cream. So this is what the packaging looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and put some on. So that's what it looks like. It's a very thick kind of cream texture. I'm going to dab some of that on underneath the eye here. Ooh, I like the color. 
I can see why that's brightening because it's got that rosy kind of peachy tone and I love those because they do help with any dark circles which I have plenty of that in the morning and I've got allergies going on right now so I've got a number of fun things to deal with and especially when I'm going to work I like to look as wide awake as possible okay so that's the and the packaging is gorgeous look at the gold cap here it's really pretty so that's a nice eye cream I think I will get a lot of use out of that one okay and then for next product um we're gonna go in with the primer so this is what the primer looks like it's a magic minerals liquid silk air primer and it's by Jerome Alexander. It creates a smooth surface and visible coverage and helps foundation glide on easily. So we have to shake it up. And then it comes with this brush. So you've got this like flat top. See this nice big flat top kabuki? That's a kabuki brush. So I'm going to shake this up. And then what, it, what you're supposed to do is spray this directly on the brush so that's what I'm gonna do spray it on the brush and then it said "Ooh, it's got a nice smell wow it's actually got a really nice smell kind of fruity floral florally okay that smells really good I've never, this is the my first time ever trying an airbrush primer. I've never tried anything that's airbrushed, so I was very intrigued. I saw it online and I thought, hmm, I'm always, I'm always wanting to test new products, even if they don't really work good, but I just was, I've never tried anything that's in a can like this that you actually spray. So I immediately thought, well, that's interesting. And then the foundation's the same way. This is an ultra fine mineral powder spray on, make it silky smooth finish. And that's what the packaging looks like. The same thing, we're gonna shake up the bottle and spray it on. And it said if you don't get enough coverage the first time to um, you know, just go back in a second time with it. So we shall see, I'm just gonna spray it on. There we go. You just spray it on the br brush and then start applying. And it's supposed to give you, ooh, I like that. I love the smell of this. And I love the size of this brush. That's a really nice big brush and that gives a lot of coverage to the skin. Very nice. That is very nice. I like that. Just spray it on. And then blend it in. I think this is, it's just kind of a fun way to apply makeup. You know, we, we apply makeup with our beauty blenders and with our brushes and now with airbrush in a spray can. I just like to switch up my routine. I like to go from, you know, like brushes and then I sometimes do a beauty blender because that just keeps the makeup application from being boring. That's, that's why I like trying different things out, because then you're never bored. I would say this is light to medium coverage. It's definitely not full, but I do like the coverage that I'm getting with it. I think that it's evening out my skin tone very nicely. It's concealing all the redness. And then I can always add concealer. So yes, I like that. That's... It's just a different way of applying your makeup, which I can appreciate. I like different ways to apply things. Um, keep, Like I said, it keeps the makeup application from being boring. And the other nice thing about this is the brush has a flat, so you can set it down on your makeup desk and it won't fall over. It's kind of cool. I like that. So the next we're going to apply the concealer. So it came with the eye concealer. And basically, oops, the top of it kind of got damaged, but I can still use it. It got in the top of the cap there but this is a concealer it's got a core in the middle it's got one of those little white cores in the middle that's supposed to have a lot of anti-aging ingredients in it 
So what I'm going to do is just get it, well, there we go. I'm going to use that part right there. I'm just going to blend it in with one of my brushes. So it says to get it underneath the eyes like this. And I'm going to use it to do that, just specifically here. And then I'm going to use a different concealer to conceal around my nose and other parts of my face. It's very creamy. And I like that it has that core in the middle because that's supposed to have a lot of anti-aging ingredients. Okay, let's see what brush to use. I'm going to use my Sigma Precision Flat Angled P88 brush to, to blend in that concealer. Sounds like it's raining outside. I can't tell. We've been getting a ton of rain here lately. Which is good because I had to have my lawn seeded. My lawn had a lot of patches where grass was not growing. Basically, it, it just never grew back in after last summer. So, I hired True Green to come out. And they came this past Wednesday and they seeded the lawn. They brought out their big huge aeration machine to poke holes in the ground so that they could fill it with seed and so you have to water it every single day once that's done because of course that's what starts the seeding. So I'm glad it's raining because that's keeping my um, sprinkler system from running all the time. I had to have my sprinkler system started. I have a sprinkler system that does my entire front and back and um, some of the sprinkler heads had broke around the side of my lawn and so we had to have somebody come out and fix that. So I had the landscapers come out and fix the sprinkler heads and they got the sprinkler system running but then we had to have the lawn aerated because there's so many patches out there um, that weren't growing. And I am in a homeowners association and any of you that know about HOAs, you know that um, they're very particular about keeping the lawn perfect. It has to be, at a, it, grass has to be cut at a certain length all the time and, and everything. It's, which I appreciate because what it does is it keeps, you know, trash out of the neighborhood. You don't have people parking their RVs out in your neighborhood. It really, it keeps your neighborhood looking pristine at all times, which I actually like that. But there's a lot of upkeep, of course, with that. So I don't mind. But um, but like my neighbor, he's got crabgrass growing in his ground in his uh, yard all the time, and that's irritating because it comes over into my yard, and then I have to go out there and pull the weed. So I'm going to use my Elf 16 Hour Camo Concealer in Light Peach just to kind of amp up the application here. I like extra coverage in certain areas. Um, but yeah, so he's got crabgrass growing and that's really irritating. And so I told the HOA they needed to send him a letter because I'm sick and tired of constantly having to go pull the weeds out of my yard. Um, so, you know, it's just always something. I think I'm going to use a little bit bigger brush. Actually, I'm going to use the same brush that came with this kit to blend this in. That 16 hour elf camo concealer is amazing. The coverage is extremely potent and it's only five bucks. That's what's really cool. It's, it's the equivalent of a uh, Tarte Shape Tape, which is like 20 to $25 for five bucks. Very, very potent. But I like that because if you're using a lighter tone foundation, you can really amp up the coverage that way. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with powder. I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in N1 Soft Ivory. I'm going to take my Real Techniques powder brush and get some of that on the brush and then we're going to put that all over the face. Just to conceal and set the makeup for the day. Yeah, I think it is. I can hear rain. 
It's interesting. It's been raining all week. I don't mind. It's going to get my grass looking beautiful. And I don't have to worry about such a high water bill. Okay, next. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys this. So I got this necklace. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to show you. I got this necklace. You see how pretty that is? It's like a rose gold. I ordered that off of Etsy and I love ordering stuff off of there because it's unique. I also ordered this really cute little turtle. And what's unique about this little turtle is this is made out of stone. It's made out of the malachite stone. Look at that. It's real soft, very polished. And I'm going to take it to work and set it on my desk. One of my coworkers had a, a polished malachite stone and she was showing me and I was like, oh my goodness, that's beautiful. And uh, she was saying she had ordered it off of Etsy. So I went searching and I found this malachite turtle. Somebody actually made the shape of a turtle out of malachite. So unique. That's what I love about Etsy. You can get all kinds of unique stuff on there. I'll have to show you guys sometimes all the jewelry I get. I get a lot of stuff like this necklace. It's just beautiful. But I also get a lot of rings because they, I love how they hand make stuff and it's just something unique that nobody else is going to have. So next we're going to go in with some AOA Studio Lumi Radiant Blush and this is in Frantic Pink. This is a beautiful light pink color. I'm wearing this today because um, I have a pink shirt on. I'm going to go in with my AOA Studio uh, F13 brush. Swirl that in and pop it on the cheeks. Everything's about pink today. I'm just in a pink, I'm in a pink mode. I'm always in a pink mode, but today I'm all out because I've got the pink, the rose gold pink necklace. I've got a pink floral shirt on. I was going to wear my pink crisscross Skechers wedge sandals today, but I don't think so. Not if it's raining. Can't get the feet wet. I will, I'll, I'll just show you guys what I was going to wear until I heard it's raining. Let me back up here and get them. Got these adorable. I ordered these off of eBay. I'm trying to find more like this, but I love it because they're like pink. And then they've even got some pink in the actual wedge. Aren't these cute? Super cute, super adorable. So they've got these little studs. You got these little studs here. And then look at the side. I love this whole thing here going. Super cute by Skechers. And then, the, and then down here in the cork, the wedge part, you've got some pink going on, which would go great with what I'm wearing. See how that matches? See? Pink and pink. But it's raining, so. Not going to ruin these pretties. Got to go do some errands. I have to drop off my eBay sales. I run an eBay store as well, so usually have things that have to go out every day. I mainly sell clothes on there, some shoes. I also have some wigs up on there. So I, well, I have a wig channel, so if you haven't checked that out, please do so. It's called Glam Life Wig Reviews. I always post the videos on there even if I don't care for the color so per se. And then if I just am not getting any use out of the wig or just don't like the color, um, <clears throat> if I don't return it to the company because a lot of it I get from wig closeouts, I'll just post it on my eBay store and sell it through there. My eBay store is called Mrs. K's. So it's like MRS space K apostrophe S Heavenly boutique and I try to post new items all the time um, I have a lot of stuff in storage that I need to get out and list because I had to move <clears throat> when my husband passed away and back in August of 2017 I had to move out of a big huge house that we had together because I couldn't afford it anymore we owned a house that was almost 400,000 couldn't, couldn't afford it anymore on my own and so I had to leave it, unfortunately. Uh, it was my dream house. It had deer in the backyard, you know, every kind of bird imaginable. It was just beautiful. And um, 
I had to hire movers to move all of the stuff out and I had a lot of stuff in that house. We'd only lived there 10 months when unfortunately he passed away from a heart attack. And um, so with that, I, I just, I had to put everything in storage because I didn't know where I was going, didn't have my new house yet and really, really stressful. And um, so I still got a lot of stuff in storage that I need to pull out. A lot of it I, I don't have room for, so I'm just selling. So I'm gonna use this little baby butter bronzer. This is by Physicians Formula, it's in the shade bronzer. Um, this is from a limited edition kit that I picked up at Walmart. I'm going to use this just to kind of bronze around the perimeter of my face. I like to do this just to deepen the coverage and make it look like I have some tan going on here. Wow, the birds are loving the rain. You should hear the birds are chirping like crazy out there. It's awesome sounding. There's not a whole lot of birds around here, um, but I've noticed that there's more. I love turtle doves too, and they, they make that certain really soothing sound. Um, there's not a whole lot of birds around here because this is a newer neighborhood. So this neighborhood, like my house was built in 2014. So it's only five years old, um, but there's a lot of, you know, everything in here was built around 13 and 14. So there's not a lot of, um, trees growing yet. I mean, there's trees, but you know, the trees are still very much like a baby. They're little. So the highlighter I'm going to use is also the pearl highlighter in the Baby Butter Collection by Physicians Formula. So because the trees are not um, big yet, the, the birds don't tend to hang around a lot, but we do have, I have seen a, a blue, bird, blue bird or two a couple of times. I'm still waiting to see a red bird. I used to see red birds all the time at my other house. Loved that. I believe that that's my, uh, well, at that time, you know, they say when a red bird comes around, it's somebody from heaven visiting you, and I believe that. And um, that time, the only people that were passed away, my mom was still alive, my husband was still alive, um, was my grandparents, both my grandparents, my father, because my father passed away back in 2008. So, um, I always thought it was them visiting me at the other house. Happy because I was at the other house. Okay, I'm gonna spray some of this Wet n Wild Photo, Fo Photo Focus Cucumber 3-in-1 Primer Water. I love the smell of this. Mm. Smells like freshly picked cucumbers, and I just love that. I just absolutely love that. So I'm just going to finish this look off today with a lip combo. The lip combo I'm wearing today is by Sephora. It's in a light pink shade. And unfortunately, the bottom of this is so tiny. I think it's called Sephora Butter Lip, but it and it feels very buttery, but I cannot read the shade name. I think this is 8220A. They, they made it super small on the bottom. But I'm just going to go ahead and get that. Go ahead and put this on. I thought this would look nice with the pink top I'm wearing. I try to color coordinate as best as I can. And I try to match the lip with like something that's in my shirt. Sometimes it's not always possible, but since I have such a large makeup collection, I can usually do that. And then, for some depth, I think I'm going to add, I'm going to try this. I was not going to do this, but I'm going to try it. So I've got a couple of these Stila. They're like, they're really shiny and they're like those lip toppers. They're the the, it's the Stila Beauty Boss Lip Gloss line. So I've got like a light shade, and then I've got like a darker shade. I'm going to try some of this darker shade. And the shade name is called Elevator Pitch. And the lighter shade is called Synergy. So I've got Synergy and Elevator Pitch. I'm going to take some of this darker one. I've got a standard doe foot applicator. And... I'm going to use that just to amp up some coverage. 
and shine because I love I love a shiny lip gloss. All right, perfect. So that was a combination of the Sephora lip butter and then it's combined with this elevator pitch. It's a very pretty color and I love it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was really fun trying out those new products and um, I'm going to be going over to my other channel and posting a video on there. So stay tuned. If you like wig reviews, you, you don't want to miss it. Um, I have a, a wig channel and it's called Glam Life Wig Reviews. And I'd love to see you there. It's where I try out alternative hair, different hairstyles, the different shades and colors and how they look. So there's a lot of exciting reviews that will be upcoming. Um, if you liked this video, please click the thumbs up and don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. And that way you'll be notified each time a video posts. If you click the notification bell that's right next to subscribe, you will be notified each time that a video posts to the YouTube channel feed. So I appreciate you spending some time here with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have a lot of fun creating these. I like to just um, kind of apply the makeup and, you know, chit chat with you as I go about the day getting ready here and um, it's just really fun having you along for the journey. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye!